Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be covering our citation add-on for Google Docs. I'll show you how to install the add-on and how to use it to search for references, insert citations, and format your citations and bibliography. You can install the add-on from the Tools menu in the SciWheel site here. Alternatively, you can also install it from within Google Docs by clicking the Add-ons tab and selecting Get Add-ons, then searching for SciWheel and following the install prompt. Once the add-on is installed, you can access it in a couple of different ways. If you have our browser extension installed, it will create a SciWheel tab in Google Docs as you're seeing on my screen now. If you don't have the browser extension installed and can't see the SciWheel tab, you can still access the add-on from the add-ons tab here. Using either of these methods, you'll be able to click on any option, let's use insert citations as a start, and you can see it opens up a panel to the right of your document with a login screen. Just enter your SciWheel credentials and the insert citations panel will load by default. You'll see your library load, and you can search for a reference, filter your references by project or tag, or sort them by various parameters. Here you also have the option to search and cite directly from PubMed or our sister service, Faculty Opinions. If you'd like to read the abstract of a reference before citing, you can expand that from here. Clicking the Open button will open the reference in either SciWheel, PubMed, or Faculty Opinions, depending on the search option you have selected. To cite, simply place your cursor where you'd like the citation to go and click the Cite button. An unformatted citation will be inserted at the cursor position. To create a citation group, just leave your cursor inside the first citation and continue citing. If you have your cursor inside a citation, you'll also see it listed in a grey bar at the bottom of the side panel here. Clicking the grey bar will expand the editing options for the citation. As an example, you can add a page number to a citation by using the suffix field here. Once you've made the required changes, just click Update Citation to apply the changes. The next thing I'd like to show you is Smart Citations. This is a premium feature and a great way to find the right citation for a given section of text. Here's how it works. Select some text you'd like to get a suggestion for and click Get Smart Citations. The selected text will be analysed for keywords by our Smart algorithm and will return relevant results for you. You can expand the abstract or open the reference to view more details. Once you've found the right reference, just click Cite. Now we have some citations inserted, we're going to want to format them and create a bibliography. To do this, just click the Format Citations and Bibliography button. The panel will load and you can choose from a style in the default list or scroll to the bottom and select More Styles to search for one. If you can't find the style you need, please contact our friendly customer support team and we'll be happy to help. Once you've found the style you need, just click Update and your citations will be formatted and a bibliography created in the chosen style. One thing to note here is that the formatting doesn't happen automatically, so even though I've just formatted, any new citations I insert will be unformatted and not added to the bibliography until I use the format function again. Next, we'll take a look at accessing the highlights and notes we've made. This feature is really handy in the earlier stages of writing to help you develop ideas, especially if you're working collaboratively. To use this feature, click the Project References and Notes button here. Once the panel loads, you can choose a project and you can see a list of the references in the project and also any highlights and notes made on those references, which you can open in SciWheel, Cite or Insert. Choosing Insert will insert the text of the note you've made, plus the text of the highlighted section and the reference citation at the end. Lastly, I'll show you the Link Document to Project feature. This is useful when working collaboratively in a shared project so everyone can access the document with just a click. To link a document, just click the Link Document to Project button here. You'll be asked to choose a project, and once you've done that, you'll be able to see the link in the manuscript section of the project in the SciWheel site here. So that's the lowdown on our citation add-on for Google Docs. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please contact us via the help chat in the SciWheel site or by emailing feedback at SciWheel.com. Thanks for watching.